Mike Moore Media, the first place to hear Rockingham County news and information. This program is sponsored by Strader Shoe Store and Reedsville Chamber of Commerce and Visitor Center. I'm excited to have on our media line right now, Summer Woodard, new Reedsville City Manager. Hey, Summer. Hey, how are you? I'm doing great. Welcome to Team Reedsville. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you. I'm excited to be here and be part of this wonderful team. Oh, it really is. That's for sure. Well, I'm excited to learn a little bit more about you, Summer. This is the first time we've really had a chance to talk. Tell us about growing up in Franklin and then being town manager for the last seven years. How cool is that? It has been wonderful, and it was a wonderful challenge. So just a little bit about me. Um, I was born and raised in Franklin, North Carolina. For those of you who may or may not know, I always give the analogy, if you know where Asheville, North Carolina is, which most do, I'm about an hour and 15 minutes west of Asheville. You'll find a small little town called Franklin, North Carolina, and our population is around 4,000 people. However, in the summer months, that almost quadruples because we are driven by tourism. Mm Mm-hmm. So growing up in Franklin, um, born and raised there, I attended Franklin High School where I was a 2004 graduate, and I've always had a heart for public service, and I wanted to pursue an educational background. So once I graduated Franklin High School in 2004, I went to Western Carolina University, which is in Cullowee, North Carolina, which is about 30, 45 minutes from Franklin, and I started as a double major in history and political science. And I graduated with honors and with both majors in 2008 from Western. And during Western, my time at Western, I'd learned about the public administration program that Western offered as a master's degree. And I felt like that would be a great opportunity since I've always had kind of a public servant's heart to move forward with that career. So once I graduated with my bachelor's in history and political science in 2008, I immediately enrolled in the Master's of Public Administration program at Western Carolina University. And that was about a a two-year course, and I would drive three to four nights a week to Asheville because they actually had those classes at UNC Asheville and Carpen Hall. So for for two years of my life, I drove Interstate 40, three and four nights a week Um, and luckily yeah it was it was it was it was quite a challenge because they decided they were going to pay 40 those that one year I was there (laughs) so that was always fun getting getting home at night so um finished up finished up my program there at Western and my master's of public administration degree in 2010 and one of the caveats to completing the master's program was I had to do a 300 hour internship and it had to either be with a nonprofit or a local government entity. And I chose, I didn't know anyone at the town of Franklin. I literally just kind of looked them up on the, in the phone book at the time. That was before Internet was too popular. And I got a contact for the town of Franklin, and I asked if I could do an internship with them. So the town manager at the time, Mr. Sam Greenwood, told me, sure, come in. We'll, we'll do your internship. I worked there with them for about three months. Of course, it was free labor, but I learned so much. I worked in the planning department. I worked with the town manager, and I completed the 300-hour internship. And when I was going to complete it, I was thanking the town manager for the opportunity, and he asked me, he said, well, you graduate in a couple weeks. And I said, yes, sir, I do. And he goes, how would you like to have a job here? Well, of course, being a a college student, that sounded like a plan. Mm -hmm. So I graduated uh, Western in my Master's of Public Administration degree May of 2010, and I immediately the following week went to work for the town of Franklin as a customer service representative. And in that role, I accepted utility payments, um, tax payments. You were the face of the town of Franklin. And I served in that role in a part-time position up until December 2010. And in December 2010, there was an opening as an assistant to the town manager. And I was promoted December of 2010. And, and the town manager at the time, and if you look in the retirement system, he always told me that was his Christmas gift to me because I became full-time in local government Christmas Eve, December 24th, 2010, is my official hire date in the uh, in North Carolina's retirement system. 
I tell you, this is so, a this is a neat journey that you're on there in your hometown. It is. It was. It's been. A, it was a a wonderful experience. So once I once I became assistant to the town manager, I served in that role um, up until December 2013, and then I was offered an additional duties as the human resource officer because we had a vacancy in that department. So from December 2013 up until June of 2014, I served as assistant to the town manager and human resource director for the town of Franklin. During that time, April of 2014, our town manager decided to pursue other options, and that left the vacancy of the town manager's position for Franklin. And I served as interim from June of 2014 till July 2014. And then I was offered the promotion to town manager of Franklin um, July 7th of 2014. And I served in that role up until about 35 days ago. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, I appreciate you sharing that with us, Summer, uh, and and you've been in really kind of in that area now uh, for uh, a, a while, and uh, uh, as a native of that area, and so this is a, this is a great to have that experience. Uh, but how exciting is this to 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 move to the next level of uh, of your career and actually uh, leave that area and come to Reedsville? I, 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 this is exciting. It has been very exciting, and I had uh, when I saw the position for the city of Man- for the city manager of Reedsville come open earlier this year. It intrigued me, so I started researching Reedsville because I've always enjoyed this area. Mm-hmm. Um, I've always enjoyed the cr- close proximity because you still have the small town feel, but you're literally thirty minutes away from so many other areas you can visit. So when I started looking into the city manager's role, I started going back through uh, city council minutes, um, past budgets, and after looking at it, it just felt like it was really a team that I wanted to be part of. So I put my name in the hat. Um, we went, the city of Reedsville went with developmental associates, and that was probably about a two-month journey going through that process from beginning to end. Um, I came down here as a candidate. I had the I was very fortunate enough to be given the opportunity to meet with uh, Mayor Doniker and all of our city council. And I just I literally fell in love with the city of Reedsville and the people here and the team that we have here. And I've been so thankful and grateful that I was chosen to have the opportunity to serve as your city manager. And Reedsville is home for me now. This Mm. is home. Well, we're glad you're calling Reedsville home, and uh, just great to have you here. Tell us a little bit about your uh, your interests and uh, maybe some hobbies, some things you have. But uh, but I know you are a Rotarian, uh, and I know you were involved um, with a, um, um, a domestic violence uh, nonprofit group. Um, some things about that. I was kind of interested in that, Summer. Sure. No, thank you for that. So. I have um, I've been a member of Rotary since 2014, and I actually have been working with the uh, Reedsville Local Rotary Club to get my membership transferred. Mm-hmm. So I'm very hopeful within the next week I'll be a member of Rotary here in Reedsville. So I've always enjoyed that. Again, it's about giving back to the community, giving back to you know worldwide organizations. So Rotary has always been a passion of mine. My other passion is nonprofit. So a couple that I've had the opportunity to serve in in Franklin, one was a um, domestic violence shelter, and it was designated for men, women, and children who had been victims of domestic violence. We took them into our shelter, and we provided them. um, We had just built a shelter that's actually a 15-unit apartment complex that REACH was the organization that I was a volunteer at. We oversaw and some of the stories are just, I will, they will always live with me. But one of the success stories we had was we had a, a young lady who had been going through domestic violence with her and her children. We were able to put her in one of our new apartment complexes. We were able to do some coaching uh, activities with her. And she is now a successful business owner in Franklin. Um, so that is one of the success stories. It's nice to look back upon and reflect, sure. um, knowing how far that lady has came. Mm-hmm. Um, 
one of the other nonprofits I was a volunteer at that had a, a really big place in my heart was called Making County Cairnet. And it was the local food bank. And we would pack over 600 backpacks for local students every single day to send home because there's such a food insecurity in Franklin. Um, and it, that was very rewarding to know that at least you know, on the weekends when children were going home, they had at least some food to get them through the weekends until they could come back in the school system and get a warm meal. You are, uh, I appreciate you uh, sharing that with us too. Uh, you have a real passion for um, uh, public service, as you mentioned, uh, and I appreciate what you're doing there. Uh, some things that you're really looking forward to getting uh, uh, hands-on uh, now that you're in Reedsville. So I'm so excited to be part of Team Reedsville, and the staff here has been amazing to work with. We have such a strong team, and all of our team members are passionate about public service. So I'm very grateful to work with them. A couple of the visionary ideas just in my first 30 days here that I would like the city to continue to work on, of course, is our downtown development and creating a very positive experience in our downtown, meaning having activities for our residents to come do, whether that's festivals and events. We're doing a wonderful job doing that in any way we can continue to promote that with our second downtown Fridays um, is something I would be completely an advocate for. You know, the goal, and I, we've been working on it, and we've got such a great perspective, is to try and create. We have got so much growth coming. It's here in Reedsville now. It's coming. With the way we're positioned with the future interstate, with the Danville, with the Danville Casino coming in, we are positioned for growth. And what we need to focus on is how we're going to be able to sustain that growth. We need to make sure our water and sewer infrastructure is up to par so we can have that growth and development that is here and is coming. And we also need to focus on our downtown and just continued beautification of our downtown to where when those residents relocating here, they have a, a great place to come for, you know, walk in the evenings downtown, visit the different merchants. So we just need to continue to capitalize on the growth we're experiencing and will continue to experience. Well, you're exactly right. I, I certainly uh, agree with what you're saying there. And it's good to have you a, a part of Team Reedsville and uh, kind of at the helm and, and overseeing some of the good things that continue to happen. Uh, this is great getting acquainted. I hope to uh, meet you soon. And uh, I just wish you much success in Reedsville. And uh, thanks for uh, uh, just sharing some good information with us today, Summer. Well, thank you so much for the opportunity to be part of your show. And if I can ever do anything to help you or any of our residents or business owners out there, please don't hesitate to come by and see me at City Hall. Okay, great. Thanks again. Have a great day. You too. Thanks so much. Uh, Bye-bye. You're, you're welcome. Bye-bye. Talking with Summer Woodard, she is the new Reedsville City Manager. Uh, just uh, in her second month now, as a matter of fact, and we're wishing her all the best. Let me tell you what's happening right now at Strader's Shoe Store, Penrose Mall, Reedsville. It's their semi-annual summer sale. This is a big one, up to 50% off. That's right, up to 50% off. Big selection of shoes, footwear for men, women, and kids, including all of their famous brands. Strader's has over 50 top names in shoes. They've been in business since 1933. Follow them on Facebook at Strader Shoe Store. I love those pictures of all the kids getting their uh, their new shoes. And we have Reedsville Chamber of Commerce and Visitor Center. They're right downtown, and they're uh, there for you, doing great work. Diane Sawyer, the president, please check them out on their Facebook page, their website. Uh, that's a hardworking team right there at the Reedsville Chamber. You can be a part of their messaging text messaging program to find out more by texting Reedsville to 76626. And then you'll find them right there at discoverreedsville.com. Good things always happening with the Reedsville Chamber of Commerce. For more information, go to riseupreedsville.com, the uh, city website, reedsvillenc.gov. And remember to shop local, support our hometown businesses.